the most powerful self-healing. To set the record straight, all healing is self-healing. Because it ultimately depends on our permission we give to ourselves, the decision that we make in our inner reality, that we're going to shift our energy, that we're going to heal, that we're going to allow ourselves to move into a higher vibration. This is something we decide, no matter what stimulus might be outside of us. That is never what provides the healing. It might facilitate it, it may guide it, but something outside of us never has the healing power. The healing power is within. We all have this. We are all sovereign agents of source with the ability to self-heal. And if you don't believe this, I invite you to try something over the next week. Try doing this three or four nights in a row, even five nights in a row. You can also do this as part of your meditation practice, but I recommend that trying this when you go to sleep at night, the last thing you do before you drift off to sleep is to activate your God self avatar and do this profound self healing. When we are asleep, we are in full subconscious mode and we tend to have less resistance from the conscious mind when we do this kind of healing when we're during dream time. So all you have to do is create an intention for what you want to heal. And this could be something to the very tangible, meaning you have chronic deficiencies uh, in the body, impingements, pain, anything of that sort, to the very intangible. Maybe you are feeling that you are out of touch and not connected to your abundance. You're not connected to financial prosperity. You're not connected to being able to call in your desires. And you're aware that there may be some blocks or resistance in your field that need to become conscious for you in order to clear them. This can help with all of those things. You are only limited by your own imagination and your own creativity here. So to facilitate this, close your eyes, calm the body, come into your presence, connect into your heart, slow the breathing down, be aware of your breath on the inhale and the exhale. Quiet the body, quiet the mind, Focus on what you intend to use your healing avatar for. And then call in your God self. Your God self is the highest aspect of your higher self. This is the agent of source itself in its most pure, its most pristine state. Just call your God self forward. And in your imagination, allow that avatar to drift outside of your physical body. You can imagine it as a form of light, as a perfect ethereal avatar of you, meaning the same form of you, but it is your God self with hands and legs and a head and eyes and all those things. If you imagine it to be a ball of light, you can imagine it's simply beaming energy from this ball of light to wherever you intend to send this energy to in and around the physical, the thought fields, the emotional fields of the body, the etheric part of the body, especially if we're dealing with any kind of ancestral karma, you can imagine this energy, this avatar of you, beaming into your causal field, okay? Again, you're only limited by your own imagination and your own creativity in how you want to conduct this avatar healing from your God self. And it's really a matter of the intention and holding the focus of this long enough that you can see this avatar of self either laying hands on your body, laying hands on different parts of your etheric field, removing blocks, removing resistance, allowing energy to ease up, become balanced, become harmonious in and around all the fields, the morphogenetic fields in and around the body. And notice how you feel. And if you're doing this right before bed, you will naturally drift off into deep, restful slumber. And you can simply allow the intelligence of this energy to conduct its own investigation, exploration, and clearing on its own. If you're doing this in a meditation practice, 
you can be aware of how this energy is moving through your field and you, you can be more consciously connected to this healing experience if you would like that as well. There's no hard and fast rules to this. But it is about knowing, not believing. It is about knowing that healing is self-healing. That you are the facilitator. You are the guide. You are the one that conducts and intends the energy to be healed, moved, shifted, upgraded, whatever. Notice how you feel when you do this. Notice what kind of messages or information comes in. Jot down or journal on what your experience is. If there are themes of emotional detachment that need to be tackled in your conscious shadow work or shadow healing journey. Be cognizant and aware of how you feel shifts in this body. Are you aware that when you're working on blocks of resistance about your financial prosperity or calling in abundance that you feel it in a specific body part? Is it in the belly, in the knee, in the big toe, in the back, the lower back, behind the head? Notice this. Have awareness of it. Be a conscious investigator of this energy and wherever the energy leads you to look further and to go deeper into your own healing journey. Notice that you have the power to do this and notice how empowering it is when you connect with yourself on this level. And I'd love for you to share in the comments if you are using this, even this voice activation as your guide, drifting, helping you drift off to sleep, let me know what your experience is with this. I would love you to share that with me.